Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time, I wanna personally thank you for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to be talking about how to get started in real estate investing with no money. Now look, I know that's a situation a lot of us find ourselves in. That's how I got started. I didn't spend any money to get deals, but I actually have a special treat. I met a guy named Vinny. He owns over a billion dollars in real estate, which is absolutely nuts. And he said he got started with barely any money. He said that he got started with $7. So I wanna introduce you to Vinny and show you how he got started in real estate investing and where he's at right now. I think you can learn a lot from him because I learned a lot from Vinny when I had him on my podcast. So let's Let's dive right in. Let's take the best things we can learn from Vinny and let's see what we can learn together. Before we dive in to see how Vinny got started in real estate and how you can get started with little to no money, let me invite you to my Painless Masterclass. It's called PainlessFlipping.com. That's where you register and I'll show you exactly how to get started in real estate in a lesson format in, in a masterclass, webinar, whatever you want to call it. I'm inviting you. It's free. Check it out. Just go register and check out this video too. Vinny, you, you've been a You've been crushing it. I, didn't you say that you started your real estate journey with $7? Is that what you're saying? Yes, I came to this country with $7. I'm a mechanical engineer, brother. And mm -hmm. I came to do a uh, mechanical engineer big bachelor's. Then I did my MBA in Washington, D.C. at George Washington University. Mm -hmm. And I came into this country with $7. I sold Bible books and encyclopedias door to door to earn money for my tuition. <laughs> Bought amazing. my first car at $700, blue Maverick, two door, <laughs> you know. <clears throat> but this whole journey started with that $7. Then I a few hundred dollars more. But I used to spend, I think, rent, you know, in uh, when I was doing this motivational speaking, I'll send every money, every penny back to India, you know, mm -hmm. to my parents and just keep $50 to eat. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. <laughs> just something that blew my mind yesterday. You, you told me that you own over a billion dollars in real estate right now. Yes, brother. Yes. You know, we've been doing, uh, you know, investing in real estate. I've been married 43 years. Mm -hmm. We live near San Francisco in Danville Black Hawk Country Club now with the grace of God and yes. with a lot of portfolio. You know, you make a lot of millions also. Amazing. <laughs> so, so we are amazing. able to, you know, live in the country club and we were living 27 years just outside the fence. What? Mm -hmm. 27 years. We still own that home. But I always was thinking, you know, God, if we, you know, we get bigger and better, maybe I'll move into the country club. But let's make long story short. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, we started selling real estate. I mean, not selling, but buying all over the USA, single family homes. Mm -hmm. But then the light bulb just came on in 2000, I think, 2000, you know, that's 23 years back. Right. And about 2004, I became a broker. You know, my wife said, she was a realtor. She says, mm -hmm. Vinny, you know so much about everything. Why don't you just take the exam? <laughs> I just learned it in three months, the whole broker courses and everything and aced it. I became a broker. I'm still a broker, but awesome. I don't sell or buy a thing at all. Mm -hmm. But then I wanted to scale up. I said, you know, how can I go from a $150,000 home or $200,000 home? You know, some cash flows come in, some equity comes in. But to really scale up, you need to be in commercial. Mm -hmm. So that's what changed my life when I said, okay, I'm going to buy. You know, I looked at storage units. I looked at office buildings. I looked at, you know, uh, shopping centers. But multifamily Mm -hmm. my attention multi wow. it's just like it's more than one unit mm -hmm. so if it's a duplex or fourplex or tenplex you can just have 10 dwellings for 10 families right there in that place space mm -hmm. and you can collect rent better you can have a part-time manager who can be also you know taking care of your you know service calls and all that stuff yeah. That's what got me started in a duplex. We still own that duplex. What? $2,800 wow. we make. We paid off the mortgage. We make every month $2,800. Even though we have over a billion dollars in portfolio, we kept <laughs> that. Then 14 yeah. units for 180000 was my, my team and my start. That's wow. what we did back about 2008. Let's say eight around there. That's about 14 15 years back, right? 15 years yeah. back. So what I found was, brother, that I can go from 180,000. I needed to buy a property 
2.4 million. It was 109 units in the mm-hmm. same town, Odessa, Texas. I don't mind sharing everybody. Of and 109 units, 101 storage units, and a commercial building. Back then, 2008, yeah. things were cheaper. And mm-hmm. the crash was coming and all that stuff. I didn't know anything about market cycle. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Zero knowledge, brother. <laughs> we just kept the you know eyes on the price, right? I call it that way. Yes. I hired a really good coach and we'll pay him. I think we used to pay him $500 or $400 every week, literally. Wow. Okay. Because wow. he had done that, what we wanted to do. Mm-hmm. So that got me going. And my partner also, I don't want to take all the credit, you know. And then we'll meet every week, like on Wednesday evenings, and mm-hmm. he'll hold us accountable. And he will tell us and give us assignments. And we were doing W-2 job, but we had to meet and prepare all these notes to make sure we do a best presentation for him. Oh, wow. Then he tell us whether to buy or not, how to go about financing, all that stuff. So a coach is a very good thing, you know, somebody who's done it, who's doing it and all that. But let's go to 2008, brother, nobody wants to give me loan or my partner. We're living in California, San Jose. She lived there. Mm. I lived in, Oak. I mean, at that time I lived in, uh, oh, in our home right here, Danville, California. Anyway, so, uh, you know, the seller said, no way, <laughs> I'm not going to take 20% down and give you loan promissory note, seller mm-hmm. financing. He said, I said, how about 30% down? No, 40% <laughs> down. Literally, he yeah. agreed to give us loan at $1 million down. Wow. 2.4 million property, 1 million down. So we don't have that kind of money, brother. <laughs> <laughs> because to be very truthful, everybody listening to me and watching, it's three things. You got to really take care of to scale up. One is mindset. You got to really say, you know what? I am better than that person who Mm -hmm. is doing this. And what's special in that person? It's only education. It's only mentoring. Somebody mentored them who somebody mentored me, brother. You know, I wouldn't be at a billion dollar. And now to my next billion and next billion. I mean, I'm just, it's crazy, crazy. I'll be 71. This August, I'll be 71. Mm-hmm. And I have so much passion. I don't need to work a day in my life. I have mm-hmm. millions of dollars. I mean, my, you know, all my children, everybody, you know, we have two children, Neil mm-hmm. and Monica. Monica is connected to our business. Neil retired. What? <laughs> <laughs> Went to Berkeley and, you know, uh, did computer science, electrical engineering. He's even more brainy than dad. And <laughs> Monica is more brainy than me and my wife. But he retired last year. What? Wow. I mean, at 37, he retired. He said, Dad, I don't need to make a dime. I said, son, I love you. <laughs> but I said, you know, do something, you know. And yeah, discipline and all that, which is good. But I believe in discipline. Ha ha. Mindset, discipline. Those two things are so important, brother. So important. So if you make a, you know, decision that you want to buy a fourplex, let's talk mm-hmm. about that. Right. Yeah. I would say to the audience, look at a fourplex. If you have not looked at it or triplex or duplex in your zip code, just look for near the area you're living in now. Mm-hmm. You don't want to go too far. You know, a couple of hours drive, I say, you know, in my academy, I teach also, by the way. Now mm-hmm. I have my own academy. I teach everything that I've learned over 15 years. I put it into video lectures and, you know, all these, uh, you know, Excel worksheets and PPT, PowerPoints and PDFs. So I teach everybody, you know, what I'm doing. Anyway. Yes, you need. To, yeah, you need to. When you when you get worth a billion, you got to definitely be able to teach people what what, you know, <laughs> you know, I want more billionaires. Really, I do. I do. My Amazing. my core heart is that, you know, I want so many people to learn. It's so simple what I'm doing. It's so very simple. There is so much money flowing all around you, brother. I mean, if I ask you, you know, in your relatives, in your close circle, I say circle number one, your associates, circle number two, where you do businesses with so many people, you know, maybe another one would be your, you know, partners and all that. There is trillions of dollars. Haha, <laughs> I didn't say billions. Trillions of dollars is stuck in the Wall Street for them. 
right. in retirement funds, in cash, in equities. And that's what I do. I'm able to raise 10 million in a day. What? <laughs> Brother, 10 million in a day. That's in a great. day. That's a lot of money. That's a lot. Of I have 530 investors, but I started with one. I just met him over the weekend and mm -hmm. I did a seminar at the Ritz Carlton over here in San Francisco, raised 12 million 750. And my very first investor came. I mean, 14 years back, he believed in me. That's amazing. And I had zero money. I had zero experience and he believed in me and he put that, you know, the $2.4 million deal, right? Uh, I bought and he put, and I sold it for 5 million, doubled it. In three to four years, I gave my investors 70% of the cash flow and the returns, equity gain. That's very Maybe good for him. 43% per year returns, brother. 43. That's amazing for him. He, he definitely loved you, I bet, after that. Oh, no, he kept on putting 200, 300, almost every deal. I've done 39 funds and syndications. Means mm -hmm. I have bought 39 properties. Mm -hmm. you know, multifamily, anywhere from 140,000, which is right. a 14 units, to 2.4 million, to 6 million, 10 million, 15 million, 20 million, 35 million. I just bought a deal in Austin, Texas with my partners in COVID. What? Mm -hmm. In COVID 2020, I knew people in my backyard were moving to Austin. See, I live near Silicon Valley. Right. So, all these Silicon Valley people said you could work from home and people just started moving out of California. They, I said, let me look at the studies. Where are they going? They were going to Florida, Melbourne, and to Austin, Texas. That's correct. And Atlanta, and Atlanta. So what does Vinny do? I just texted all my brokers in Austin, Texas, and texted. I do copy paste, brother. I'm a very simple guy. <laughs> I'm a very simple guy. I say, you know, hey, Vinny's back again in Austin. I'm looking for 300 units. You know, I'm back with more money. And lo and behold, one person, Michael, calls me back. He mm -hmm. says, I know you. Nine years back, you bought Country Club from me. And you were the easiest buyer ever. <laughs> That's what he said. Michael said, I said, brother, tell the seller, Vinny's back with more millions now. <laughs> yeah. I bought that for 4.3 million, I think, or something. 132 wow. units. 132 units I bought, brother, in Seguin, Texas, right outside Austin. Sold okay. it 6.5 million already, you know, and all that. I said, brother, just tell them they were 15 buyers, one five. This property was so good that people wanted to buy it. Yes. Here, Vinny's coming back after nine years into Austin, Texas. But I had my foothold, 26 properties, I think I bought in Texas by itself. And then I bought in Georgia, Atlanta, Georgia, and around there. And I bought in Florida, right? So I have foothold in three states, right? right? So I'll come back and they said, yes, Vinny, you won the deal. I said, what? Best and final I gave 500,000 on signing the contract, right. non-refundable, and my partner paid 500. It's a big game, brother. Of when course. You for 34 million, 35 million. So they chose you because you made, did you make the best offer? Did you make, what, what made you stand out for, from the other offers? You're right. Totally. It was out of 16, you put, I mean, it's a crunching, number crunching. It's like, you know, you have to put your best foot forward with approval of the Freddie Mac loan, the letters that we are qualifying for $26 million loan, whatever it was, right? With my partners and I, and then we said, okay, this is our business plan. And this is where we're going to take the property. This is our offer. 34 million, 750 is what we paid, by the way. Mm -hmm. It was 32 million, by the way. It started from there. We went up and up and up and up. Then we threw in 1 million kicker, non-refundable. Wow. That was the seal maker. That was the deal maker. That's a deal maker right there. You know, I mean, we knew that we have the financing and we know we can raise the money, brother. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, that's what we are. So we did $16 million in about, maybe took me a month or so to do the PPM and all that stuff. And we closed that deal in 54 days. If you found this information to be helpful, subscribe so you can get more information like this.